Good morning, folks. Stardemon here on a test commentary run for Dota 2. I want to break into Dota 2 commentary, even if just casuals. So let's do it. Let's do it. I love commentating. I love doing every game I want, every game I have. I want to learn how to do it. Mm. So we're going to watch a match of my friends here. Uh, he likes to play, he's been working on his invoker, and maybe, th maybe through commentating, I'll be able to help him out, so we don't need that, we want free camera. Okay, everything's in good order. XP per minute, no, we want, we want, well, XP per minute probably works out, but... Okay, on the radiant side we have Goose Delia Franco, <laughs> Blue Dragon Zel Zelatsi, and Noel. On the dire side we have Legrin, Aerojet Seven, Death Reaper Two 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 Two, Master X, Pat, and Yape. So why do I have this? Why do I have this thing here? Text field. So right now teams are just picking their stuff. Isn't this great? Like with the power of X split, you can see like you can see this stuff happening here, like on the main player screens. Amazing. Like the production was so good. <coughs> so Legrand playing Invoker. Hope he does well. Now it'd be cool if I can move this junk around and hide it. It's going to be an hour-long match, so... Alright, we have some picks going on now. Whoop. We got a Klinx, we got a Silencer, Ursa, for Centaur, Warrunner, Spirit, Breka, Faceless Void, Invoker, and a Tiny. We got two more to go here, Goose and Blue Dragon picking up. So Legrand's on the dire side. No courier yet bought. Take a look at the general HP values. I like Faceless Void. Uh, this looks like a pretty good team here. I'm kind of worried about spell damage, but between Faceless Void, Ursa, and Tiny, and then Silencer and Voker, this is a highly, uh, this is a pretty good, this, this is a pretty good, like, uh, debuff team, because you have Invoker who can kind of just, like, whip out, uh, up to, like, 12 different spells. Yeah, uh, and there, that provides some pretty good utility, but Legrin's not like an expert at Invoker yet, he's still learning the character. He's got basics down, but... 30 seconds we have Aerojet, to who's gonna be playing Silencer. We have no idea how good anybody else is at this point. Uh, Silencer will probably provide some really good global silence in teamfights, but that makes that's gonna make it uh, make up to... Uh, this basically, these guys are gonna have to lead off and then have Tiny Ursa and then Faceless Void go to work. You know, but on the, on the other side, let's take a look. We have Warlock and Clint. Clint is gonna be enormously pain in the ass. That was way too loud. Batrider, really good character. Begins. Spirit Breaker, most popular character in the game. And Centaur War Runner, I don't know anything about that character anymore. So it looks like we have everyone kind of going to positions. The invisibility rune is here. These two guys are kind of hanging out together. It looks like Urza's going to try to do jungle and then get his level 6 Rosh hit. Invisibility! Invisibility. Ursa grabbing the invisibility on uh, Legrin, who did not take bottle to dominate bottle mid end. Clinks, how we're gonna do his thing. Clinks with s some serious damage output, especially after he gets to be invis. Looks like the top lane here. Let me get rid of this garbage. What? Oh, uh, Silencer already being harassed as the only one by himself in this lane. Will the question is, will Ursa come and help him when it come when these guys really want to start getting aggressive? That's gonna be a big question in this match. I don't know why people. I don't know why people like the top lane, but I don't. I I, I like the defensive position in the top First lane. Blood. Silencer, uh, silencer uh, blood. already like pushed back against this tower. And he's gonna stay there. Ursa gonna come in. We had a first. <laughs> wow, Central War Runner died. He died in the bottom lane. I completely missed it. He did manage to. He got too aggressive. Probably tried to attack these guys and got hit. Spirit Breaker's like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, 
OMG. Actually, well, maybe we should go back to that? Nah, nah. There's only one chance, one life. We missed it. So already, within like 1 minute and 20 seconds, the... <laughs> The Dyer have already gotten a kill because of uh, because of a mistake made on the Radiant side with uh, Central War Runner here. Oof, stomp. Foot stomp. I think Ursa just denied himself in that case. But anyways, Legrin doing pretty good, out earning Spirit Breaker, who probably has probably was the one to land the kill shot on uh, Central War Runner, so he's gonna go down. But if we compare him to Clinks. Legrin is definitely out earning clinks right now. Almost a hundred almost by a hundred per minute. Let's take a look at the gold here. Yeah, that was because of that kill, and now it's gonna slowly even out, but Dyer is still ramping up now now that they're gaining abilities. Clinks is gonna move over, he's gonna try to grab Haste Rune. Bat Rider's still hanging out in here, Silencer just trying to passively get uh, get XP until he can get his level 6 and then start helping the team with Global Silences. Hopefully the communication on the Dire side will be such that they can actually do it. Here comes a little fight. Clinks gets out of there. Yeah, Ligger. Oh, he misses the last hit. Can he deny that one? He man does not manage to deny it. Slow projectile doesn't let him. This lane's gonna be pushed up here. What am I saying? Like... I said, oh wow, I'm not even paying attention to the life bars anymore. Derp! Yeah, see, what happened is these two guys completely screwed him. He the time walked, slowed him. Yeah, that's how it works. I said, Spirit Breaker, get the last time I was such a war runner. I'm an idiot. Ah. Without further disparaging myself. How are we doing here? XP per minute, definitely on the dire side. Gold leveled out, but dire now. Ooh, that definitely leveled out in the last second or so. The question is, who's going to take that first tower? That first tower is going to make a very big difference. Clinks and Legren now in the middle lane is definitely earning the most XP per minute. Uh, it looks like Clinks is definitely getting competitive on Legren. Legren probably not getting his last hits in. Let's see if he makes this one. He makes that one. He doesn't manage to deny that one, opting up to run up. He gets hit because he gets ambitious, knocked down. Clinks could probably blink Radiant in and kill him. Tower is under attack. He takes a lot of damage. He's going to have to decide what to do after that. He gets his tango. Uh oh, here come! This could be a play. Tiny's gone. Can, can they follow it up with uh, Voidwalker? Faceless Void. <laughs> Call him Voidwalker. Too much WoW reference in here. Spirit Breaker's tanking that thing. Desperately that wants to kill. He takes the death. But they get rewarded the gold, unfortunately. They're gonna put some work in on that tower. Here we have an illusion ruin. There's a chase going on here. Batrider's probably gonna go down. He Ursa still running through the fire and dies. You're but a blot in the black. Dude, did you not play your World of Warcraft? Do not stand in the fire. Legrin back on the case here. Clink's a little hurt, but Legrin definitely still out earning him. Silencer now uh, out earning. Out earning a si Silencer managed to get through. Hmm. How'd that change it? Ooh. Too bad for you. That gave the Radiant a definite advantage right for right now, but... Oh, here comes this... Oh, he chooses not to. He doesn't want to go in on Tiny just yet. Centaur Warrunner goes into the forest. He's pulling the creeps with him. Can Spirit Breaker get the kill in on Tiny? Stun number one. Can we get a bash in? Oh, he sacrifices himself. No, he's not going to run. He's going to get out. Spirit Breaker's going to do his thing. Faceless Void's still in. Can Void, can Void get out using Time Walk is the question. Void is going for it, he's going for the bashes. Oh, can he get out using time walk is the question. He has to make a choice, but greater bash procs. He's gonna get out, he's gonna use the tower. Is Spirit Breaker gonna go in? Central Warner, nope, no choice, they choose to get out. That's That situation's over with. We got some harassing going on silencers, and Ursa's probably gonna continue to farm. What's Ursa doing? Ursa's level 4, he's not ready for Rosh yet. Legend level 6 and Clink. Links. So the Radiant definitely have more kills at this point. And they are definitely out earning on XP and gold. So the Dire need to kind of get their stuff up. Ursa's going right back to work. Silencer's kind of going to use the force to see what's going on here. He doesn't know where this guy is right now. Tiny is feeding. Tiny is feeding. That's what we know right now. One more swing. There you go. Noel finally gets out. He dies. That sad face. 
Regen bottom lane Regen. over here is definitely a slobber knocker. Uh oh, Klinks is gonna come back up on Legrand using invisibility. Is he gonna catch them hard enough to actually bring him out? Here he comes, the damage is coming. Legrand uses the crowd control, he had one stored up. Very smart move by Legrand having that stored up. He stuns, Klinks is gonna try to get out. Can Legrand come back in and kick this kill? No, Legrand chooses not to. Klinks uses that escape, Legrand goes back out. Legrand gonna store up another one. Klinks goes right back to harassing Legrand. This is gonna be a really tough match. It's gonna be out maneuvers. The maneuvers are gonna be the thing that creates this. Oh, here comes the stun, Legrand going in. Klinks is gonna try to get out. Legrand does not want to go dive in on that tower. Legrand plants out sentry ward, very smart. Very good move, he drove him out and hit the sentry ward, and now Klinks is not going to know that's there. Klinks does know it's there. Kills it. Legrand's done. Legrand's like, yeah, fine, fuck you, I'm going to plant this one here. Operable range of the sentry turret is there. What's going on in the other lanes right now? We've got some repositioning, people getting out, people coming in. Why? Silencer just doing his thing now. Not exactly earning a whole lot compared to the Radiant who've been getting kills, but Legrand is still topping them just by a little bit. If it wasn't for Spirit Breaker earning so much... Radiant's middle tower is under attack. How's the charts doing? Oh, things are starting to even out now. Legrand definitely has put work on that tower. Klinks is missing. Klinks is... Where are you? Klinks is coming in. The turret, the, the, the turret gets some shots in on Legrand. How are we going down here? Oh, we come in just as Center Warner seals the deal yet again on uh, tower is under attack. Ooh. Ursa left position to try to go gank. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he was trying to help these guys. But he's going to try to get out. We have three people coming in. Legrand now deciding to join in on a team fight. Faceless Void, Legrand go this way. Tiny go this way. Tiny's the one that's exposed right now as bait. Legrand comes in on Klinks. Does his cone crowd control is going to try to get music to get back out. He decides to take a few hits uh, to get rid of those guys, get some money. Good call. Defy. Yeah, silencer just deny those creeps, bring them in on the tower, just hug the shit out of that tower. Meanwhile, the bottom lane on the dire side, the dire are going to try to push on this tower for a bit while this big team fight happens here. Lagrin going in, dies from Spirit Breaker by himself in the mid. That happens. They still don't see the sentry ward. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's Ursa now going to try to come back in. Attack. Is he going to go back farming? Uh oh, they popped. Are fortified. They popped the. They popped it a little Dyer's too soon. Middle tower is under attack. Legrand's still not up. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Legrand not up, but they're going to try to save that tower for what they can. Ursa ignoring the tower. Not doing a damn thing. Legrand's still back in. Legrand and Silencer are back attack. here. Radiant side now pushing. Silencer's gonna come back. Here comes, here comes Tiny gonna try to defend the tower. It's half dead though. They didn't get a very good push out of that. That's okay, it's still very early. Clinks decides if he wants it. Faceless Void with a Ring of Basilius. Good call. Alright, so Legrin and Tiny now are going to attempt to uh, take care of this mid lane situation. However, repositioning going on on the Radiant side. Invisibility. Invisibility. Who grabbed that invis? Okay. Centaur Warrunner. He's going to come up right behind Legrin, put the stomp the shit out of him. Oh my god, Tiny, help me. Tiny comes in with the help. They're going to chase Legrin. He's the squishy. He's getting out. Spirit Breaker comes in, right on time, good communication has dropped it, now they're going to drop Tiny, he decided to stay in. Not sure what he was going to do with Legrand, he does a toss, dies. That definitely puts everything in favor of the Radiant right now. Ursa came in, he's going to try to do damage on Ursa, uh, on Central Warrunner. Uh, Ursa manages to stay in, can he take the Batrider too? Good job! Oh my god. Oh, I thought, like, okay, another strike popped. Okay. Silencer came in on this fight to assist, but he's way too late. He's gonna run into... Warlock. Jesus. What's going on? That was a pretty bad situation for the Dyer. They gave up a lot of money Radiant's and a lot of experience for that. But their attack. creeps are pushing this tower here. This tower's okay, this tower's okay, but this tower's in trouble. 
that tower's in good shape. That tower's in good shape. So the only, their problem right now is the middle tower can be taken now in one decent push. And everyone is out of position. They're deciding they want a team fight now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But they have two guys that pretty much specialize in being in the back. Tiny doesn't seem to be in good shape enough. I mean, he only has some phase boots right now. And that Radiant's only really leaves Centaur Warrunner to pick up, the, da uh, pick up the, the tanking work. Oh, and Faceless Void, of course, but... Faceless Void, uh, he's got his ultimate. He can come in. He needs to be... Faceless Void is the one that needs to be here. Get Tiny. Oh my, Spirit Breaker again. Most popular character for a reason, he just has to hit two buttons and he's probably got a really good chance of killing people just based on that. However, Tiny's now chasing down the Spirit Breaker. Can he find a way to catch up with him? That's the question. Spirit Breaker hits his Q, he's out of there. Tiny's got to decide if he wants to give up or if he wants to reposition the tower. Ursa coming back through the forest, he's going to see Centaur Warrunner. Centaur trying to come in on the action to the top lane. Ursa's Dyer's chasing him down. He's going to hope Spirit Breaker can come in, but he's, he's waiting for Spirit Breaker and Warlock. Are they going to converge and is something really good going to happen? He's coming in. Is there any communication happening on this team? Nope, he's gone. Alright, they're in the jungle. They're going to chase down Ursa. They're repositioning. We have a big convergence happening. Legger is going to come to see. There's definitely communication happening here between these two teams. What's going to happen? Silence has been hit. Two guys silenced. Ursa chasing him down. Who's going to take it first? Is Spirit Breaker going to be a victim or is Central War Runner going to be shut down? They chase in. All three are coming in. We got all four coming in. Stuns come out. We're going to have it. Ursa kind of not in control. Legrin diving in. Decides not to. He's too squishy. He ran to the tower first. But we're going to take the tower instead, says Dyer. Which leaves Faceless Void all the way on the other side of the map, out of the team fight, which he should be in with that ultimate right now. Clint's going to take himself behind. Silencer in trouble. He decides to run away. He can't run from a ranged class, though, like that. Clink's still being unharassed. No communication happening. It's too late. Clink's goes down. That leaves Warlock. What's going to happen here? Lego takes a small shot. This tower's down the half. But unfortunately, we have this problem up here happening. Ursa going back to probably refill, get some life. The first tower is going to go down to Radiant, to Dire Radiant's though, and that's going to even this up fall. very well. That Radiant's just drove this, that just drove that graph down. Very, that needed to happen for Dire. Spear Breaker comes in on a lonely Lager and he is dead, that is it. Nether Strike is next, there it is, he's dead. No one's appreciating the fact that Spirit Breaker can be anywhere at any time. And without this jungle warded and without these positions here warded, you just don't know when Spirit Breaker's coming and if you're by yourself, you're in trouble. Legrin stays in on a bad situation knowing that there's a Spirit Breaker out there. Don't do that again. Legrin, I'm reporting you for being bad. Spirit Breaker now beating the shit out of everyone on uh, XP per minute because he's so scrub. If you really Dyer's want to know how to beat Spear Breaker, there's only one way to do it, and that's uh, being Dyer's incredibly durable, or just teamwork. And unfortunately, is he going to deny this tower? Silencer unable to deny Dyer's the tower, and that situation is just too bad. Unfortunately, now we have team reforming here. Urs is going to try to come in. Spear Breaker is going to hit the button. Where is Who's he going in on? He's going in on a lonely Death Reaper. Oh my god, is it going to be Death Reaper or Pope Spirit? Oh, here it comes. He's done. And so is Tiny. Legrin too late to kind of control the situation. And the second big tower goes down. That is very bad. So two towers down now on the dire side. That's definitely going to break, push this right back in favor of the radiant. Ursa jumps in. Can you do it with the Batrider? Hit the Batrider! Hit the Batrider! Ursa not wanting any more part of this. Unfortunately, he's going to be chased down. I'm not sure if the kill would have been worth it at this point. Clinks is coming up. He's going to be at the tower, but Ursa is not going to be able to survive this. He is done. Batrider dove hard right into that. The Dire now are going to try to capitalize on this risky behavior. Void teleports in. Unfortunately, Silencer now going down. Legrin unable to take control of this beast. Can he? Good. Save Silencer. Dire side now. Good control. Silencer's gonna live. They managed to save Silencer. It is 2013. And the Radiant side are definitely on an economy advantage right now.
They also happen to be on a position advantage. They have two towers down right now. Well, these guys only really have one. This tower is probably the thing that needs to die next, and I think that's exactly what they're going for right now. We're gonna go in on this tower. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I hope the sound didn't cut out. But here it comes. The mid tower finally going down. People buying fine silence are finally getting some power trends. They may be cursed, but they're coming out. Spirit Breaker comes in. Good reaction by Lagrin. Shuts down the Spirit Breaker with a great stun. Very good shot. Very good reaction by Lagrin. We now know how to beat that Spirit Breaker, says Lagrin. Teamwork. Spirit Breaker so afraid of that stun and the three players that were there that he just pieced out. Looks like Faceless Void's now going to get back in position. Tiny's going to try to get back in this, but we have team fights now. Unfortunately, Silencer gets found by himself, dies to four Radiant players, and they're going to push this tower. They want this next. Lagrin back in position. They're probably pinging this thing now. Everyone gathering back up using teleport scrolls. Lagrin initiates by stunning a lot of them. No, no damage is going to come of it, though. It makes them think twice. They start running. Chris is going to come in. He's walking in the fire like a jackass. He's going to pick a different target. He chooses Splits. Splits pieces out. Spirit Breaker comes in on Tiny. He's going to do the damage. Ursa unsure of who's going to attack first. Chooses to run. Legron comes in. Is he going to Is he going to stun? Nope. Nether Strike kills him. Legron stands in the fire like a jackass. Unfortunately, Greater Bash procs. Can Legron survive it? Obviously not. That was a poorly executed team fight. They couldn't choose a target. They were very separated, and then they got, and then they just they can't get anything done. Spirit Breaker completely owning everyone on XP per minute. Unfortunately, driving it right up for the driving the graph right up. Silence are unsure of what to do with this situation. Batrider, they're coming in on this tower. And Silence really can't do much about it. They only really have to auto-attack. Bad position to teleport in on, but Faithless Void is in that ass. He's gonna try to clear these creeps. Big team fight being built up here. Haste Rune is up, Rosh is up, no one's gonna... If I were this team, I'd probably try to get an Aegis of the Immortal right now. But they don't want to be chased by this three-man team here. It looks like... It looks like they just all split up in different directions trying Radiant's to look for the forest, but... They could attack. just board it and know what's going on, or they want cheap farm. It looks like these guys are just kind of laying in wait here. Clink's waiting for Silencer to make a mistake. Clink's chooses to show himself. Here comes the team fight. The foot stomp misses. Lagrin is now being dragged down. Oh my, that leash really sucks. Lagrin is very mad right now, having been dragged by the leash out to the middle of nowhere. Alright, but... Spearbreaker is caught by himself. Finally gets shut down. That's a lot of it. Alright, Central Warren is still in, can Faceless Void zoom past him using uh, the step. He's trying, he completely misses, he tries to go here, very bad move. And unfortunately that poor Ursa is going to go down to the dot, he is done. Faceless Void going to try to get in, can we have it, are we going to get an ulti pop on here? No, he doesn't have it. The lifesteal is going to fill him back up. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh jeez. Why didn't why did Tiny not Tiny just tossed him and <laughs> he got the kill. Very good. Okay. The Radiant have managed to fend off this attack, but it's still a really bad situation for them. They have a lot of ta they their their second tier of towers is uh, really hurt. On the good news is is that the first tier on the on this side is done. I missed a kill, I'm sorry. I am talking so much, I'm gonna die. Spirit Breaker comes in on the lonely character. No stun, no nothing to Silencer. He doesn't have that kind of ability. Silencer gets out, Lagrid's gonna save Silencer once again. Silencer Spirit Breaker, so no Nether Strike comes out. That's a very good move on, uh, on Lagrid's end. I'm sorry, Silencer did that. That's what Silencer does, but the Nether Strike finally comes out, Lagrid is dead. Lagrid stayed in on that situation. No one was there to help him. Silent, both silence silencer died too. Silencer died the first nether strike after the silence died. Ursa and Tiny not sure what to do, being the only real survivable characters on this team. Sp Spirit Breaker doing his job, earning so much XP per minute. Look at that, 625. He's gonna sit and farm in there for a little while while his team repositions, trying to figure out what to do. These guys aren't really making any progress. 
This tower is almost done. Someone should really deny it, but I don't think it's able to be denied right now. It's... They're just clearing the creeps and sitting tight. Clinks is invisible. No wards have been placed over here to kind of anti-clinks. Nothing here. Nothing here. I would have thought that their push, they would have actually planted something here just to deal with clinks. Unfortunately, clinks have clinks to deal with that very easily. So they need to be crafty where they put that. Unfortunately, Dyer going to try to stay in on this fight. Ursa's in, but he can be out. Is Nether Strike going to come out? Dyer's it's up. Three, two, one. Ursa. Okay. Graceless Ward comes in. He uses his Mask of Madness. I assume he has it by now. Yes, he does. Alright, he's in on it. Spirit Breaker tries to get a quick stun in so he can miss, but he dies. Tiny is out. Laker is in. Alright. Graceless Void now saying, I'm going to carry this team. It's time. Uh, what's what's Lager going to do? Does he have anything to kind of hit up? He's got the mana, but he does, and he's got the charges, but he's got nothing else. That Rider zooms out. So Faceless Void diving in, but he's still dotted. He doesn't understand this. You need to get out right now, guys. I think Silencer's dead. No, go heal, go heal. Dyer right now is on the run. Radiant is definitely really putting the pressure on them right now. Not having many chances to reorganize, not many chances to get their economy back. Unfortunately... <laughs> oh. When did Dyer's this tower get its life tower back? What happened? Under attack. Did I miss a tower going down? Faceless Void still dotted, not sure if he's going to end up living or not. Mm -mm -mm. What's the Radiant side doing? Ursa waiting for shit to respawn. We got a little fight going here. This tower is gone. Let's get rid of in time. Someone pop the mechanism. And that tower goes. Right now, Silencer and Tiny deciding what to do with this push that's going on here. Faceless Void checks the forest. Nothing is up. No wards have gone up. Unfortunately, I would have assigned to Silencer the role of wandering around and doing it. He is a global silence, so I would. Oh, I just heard a Spirit Breaker. What's going to happen? He caught Lagrim by himself. There is no option for this except to stun and run. However, Nether Strike, and that it is it. Right on time. Lagrim not being able to deal with the Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker is now going to go and take this sec this next tower here. Defended by Silencer. Unfortunately, there's nothing that's really going to defect that with Spirit Breaker. He's just tanky and built up, and he's going to dive in on Silencer. But what's going to happen here? This goes. Is there going to be an ulti use? Probably not. He already popped it. Spirit Breaker decides to get a greater bash, and he gets out of here. Is that going to hit? That hits, but he's not going to be able to do anything else. He's gone. Spirit Breaker barely managing to survive that, going back to his own creeps over on that side. The Dire are on the run right now. They are trying to reorganize into a defense that can drop these guys so that they can make a push on this tower here, or this tower here, and then bring the economy back in on their side. So right now you can see them mustering now in their base trying to get the defense together. Not sure of what to do with the disadvantageous position that is the exact border of their base. Because from the exact border of their base you could be drawn into the forests, you can have people hiding here that are long range. If anyone is by them if anyone is by themselves and they still haven't realized this, the spirit breaker is coming and they're gonna take them down. No one seems to have learned this. And on and it seems tiny bought a scepter. That's a core item for Tiny, who's building very slowly. Let's take a look at what we have for the item situation on all the teams. Arcane Boots, make a dumb... Uh, Warlock just playing up his support role as best as he can. Oh my, got the fight here going. Yeah, bring him down, you're gonna heal that junk up. Let's see, the next person's gonna go is either Warlock or Clint's. Clint's is next, good choice. This is more dragged off by Batrider. Can Tiny make it out? Tiny makes it out. Laker cops a stun. He's gonna try to stun the goddamn hell out of Central World Order so the tower gets the kill. It happens! Lagrin helped make that happen. That was very good on Lagrin's heart. Where's that Spirit Breaker? What is Spirit Breaker built? Spirit Breaker has all the most wonderful things in the world, including a ma Oh my god, what'd I do? Get rid of that. Whoop! Oh my god, so many buttons I'm pushing here. 
and then Legrin's gonna stay in on this fight. He gets tagged once and is out. Silencer getting hit a little, hit a little too much. Tiny with a big branch. Gonna try to take down Batrider. Batrider's dying. The, the defense is finally coming together. It's a double damage rune sitting out here in midfield. The dire side now with a double creep wave. Let's see if that's gonna actually get there. Probably not. Radiant side now on the run, trying to reorganize from a push on this side. Clinks now is gonna catch Silencer by himself, immediately dies. You guys need to stick together. This is the one thing you guys aren't doing, and you're getting beaten up by the Clinks and the Spirit Breaker, and without the wards in the forest, you're not gonna be able to do it. Let's take a look at our graphs because we love Microsoft Excel. The Radiant are starting to even out, but this is still an incredible advantage. Their economy is pumping on all cylinders. Tiny is caught by himself. If, he's any, if any creeps appear near him, he's going to get it. Looks like he just smoked up. And he bought a Vanguard. That's a lot of money he just spent. Ursa is going to continue to try to jungle up to see if he can, you know... Please take control of the jungle. Central War Tiny goes in on Central War Runner. Spirit Breaker comes in for the assist. Assisted by Lagrin, controlled by this. What's the next thing that's gonna happen? Is another strike on Lagrin and he's gonna die. But he's stunned by he's stunned by Void. Can Void pop? Yes he does. Void's oh no, can Void get some life back? Oh my! Not quite, he does it! He manages to do it. The rest of the fire team jump in, take down Central War Runner. Is Warlock next? Ursa gets dragged off by Batrider. Good call by Batrider. Now Lagrin's gonna see if he can get on this fight, get some control over it. Ursa finally manages to get out of it. He wants to stand in the fire, but Lagrin's probably gonna range him to death. There he goes! Warlock's next! And there goes Warlock. Alright, good save by three good save by three by the three members here on Dire. Really picking up that fight, getting out and back in. Viva la cooldowns, wow. Silencer are gonna try to see if he can sneak up on Clinks. Clinks gets out, Silencer can't see him. Dyer's no words, no nothing. Is under attack. Puts out a puts out a blank silence thinking he was near. Dire side are now gonna reorganize. That definitely slowed down the Radiance uh, offense. So now they're just gonna have Clinks kinda buy things up. Centaur who just popped back up. Vagrin gonna get back to trying to get some damage in on creeps so he can earn some money. He definitely earns some money there. Vagrin, I'm not sure what he's building, but he doesn't have much. He goes for the mana regen uh, void stone, although I don't think this is a very good choice for his character. Vagrin loves secret shop items. He really does, and I think this is... This is GG, fellas. This is not GG's. This is not GG's. You guys are not GG yet. You guys are gonna beat... You guys are gonna fix this up. Radiant now, reorganizing their offense, trying to farm back up to get the money they lost back, trying to build their items back up. Void Walker and Ursa now built up, level 15 and 14 respectively. No one has attempted Rosh yet. I'm surprised that Ursa didn't try to solo Rosh after they secured the midfield position. Batrider's coming in, what's he gonna do? I heard the Spirit Breaker go, he's coming in on Tiny. Tiny might be built up enough to survive, let's see if he has a response to the Spirit Breaker. Connects. I think Tiny's too built up to survive the Spirit Breaker. He's stunned. He's gonna get a lot of damage in. Legrin coming in for the assist. Spirit Breaker's done. Another strike hits, but but he has no other choice. Tiny manages to oh no. Tiny manages to go down the central wall where his final assist comes in. Ready comes out. Next one comes in. Silence comes in, but he has no abilities to silence. It doesn't matter. Lagrin's gonna come in, kinda use the tower again. The central owner dies. Voidwalker late on the assist, but uh, doesn't even need it. Radiant now attempting to take down Rosh. That's gonna happen. They're not gonna be able to respond to that in time. <coughs> there it goes. That's some money for Radiant. That probably managed to level out these two graphs. The gold is still very much on Wise Roshan without a <laughs> picture. <laughs> Turn tape over. Radiant. Now trying to reorganize their offense so they can make a final push to take down the tier, third tier of towers. Which are not very damaged at all and very secure position for uh, for Dyer to try to reorganize, push out, take this tower in one sweep, take this tower in one sweep. They pop, why did they pop this fort? Why did they pop fortify? No one was there to defend these towers, that makes no sense. 
Versus surprise you didn't solo rush. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. These two guys now preparing to push the top. They want this tower so they can get their they can get their stuff back under control. Tiny now going to try to do mid. Unfortunately, he's pretty confident he can so probably survive a spirit breaker attack now. And now, silencer. Not sure where to go. Faceless Void, not sure where to go. Rager determined to push by himself, thinking that he can probably survive, probably give the Spirit Breaker a choice. And choices are being made now. Spirit comes in, everyone's stolen. Knock down that Spirit Breaker. Ursa working on that Batrider. Ursa takes it down. Very good stun. Nice job, nice teamwork by that team. Assists are coming in. Control comes in. Control stops. Silencer pops that silence. Batrider's gonna go down again. So much for that Aegis. <sighs> Big scary monster happening. Warlock wanting to run away so badly. But he's in on him with, with, the, with the Void Step. They're diving. They want this kill right now. They don't care about the tower. Is Ursa gonna be able to get in? Is Void gonna have the, the, the step in time? They're still diving right into the enemy base. He takes the step. He kills them. Now are they gonna be able to get out from this massive dive? Oh, here's Klinks though. This is an opportunity, but Klinks is fighting through the tower. Void's gonna sacrifice himself. Ursa's gonna take this opportunity to get out now that Klinks is out. Very good. That was a very risky dive. Highly, highly risky, but as you can see, everyone is dead. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And here's the work coming in now on this tower. That's gonna be a genuine amount of damage, and it might kill it. Probably not though, but we have three. We have three creep we have three range creeps. Here comes the next stack in. I'm not sure if that's going to kill the tower right away. The two are going to come in and try to defend this tower, if not to deny it outright. Yeah, here comes the deny. Yeah, they're going for the deny right now. No, they're not. They're not. They did not bother Radiant's to deny. Tower they let denied. that tower go. And that is going to be very bad for that team. They gave them control. Now dire taking control of this match probably not in gold but the earning xp trying to get themselves back up so they can remount an offense and beat this game clink's probably right in assuming that that's probably just that that was the decisive moment in the match and now they're gg wards are going up silence are trying to get his stuff in control takes one of the best ward positions in the game Radiant now, not sure what they're gonna do outside of really out, you know, really farm themselves back up to get the items and the consumables necessary to win the fight. Illusion. Clinks goes up with Illusion. Not a very good choice for Clinks considering he wants to go invisible, but he can still keep two of himself up. You see three Clinks, you're gonna immediately think of what to do next. Dire side now decided they want to push tower that this is an actually prime target, and that the mid. What are you doing here? Alright, we're gearing up for a big team fight. Lagrin really confident that his crowd control between a global silence, a uh, what's this called, a chromosphere? Alright, Clink's getting in position for this team fight. The stun comes out, Clink's hits the damage, Lagrin's gonna. Chromosphere comes out first, Lagrin's gonna pick the next stun, although he already blew it. Everyone is frozen. This is gonna result in Lagrin dying, probably. Lagrin did not die, he manages to get thrown <laughs> and gets a kill. <laughs> Good move by Tiny. Warlock out by himself now, not sure where he's gonna go. Batrider trying to come up from behind and try to get this done. Big explosion comes. Silencer not gonna die today. Ursa coming in, gets tossed. Tiny Ursa kinda of going this way. Take care, of, uh, take care of what he thinks is Clinks, but isn't. Yes, here comes, he's in on him. The stun comes out, one more swing and that's over. And there it is, Warlock dies, Tiny gets a kill. Tiny now built up, ready to go. Ursa, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to get away, but Batrider doesn't really have much else. Batrider the monster. But we got some confusing shit happening here. Tiny still go, Legrin does the crowd control on the monster. Tiny, still Tiny again. Ooh, Batrider. Tiny is hurt, but Lagrin's gonna stay in on this fight. He wants Batrider. Come drag my garbage around. Get out of here. Batrider zips up. Miss clicks. Miss clicks and gets swiped at by Tiny, resulting in a death. We have four down on this side. Sounds so laps. <laughs>
And look at this, the XP per minute on this side is not sorted. There we go, let's take a look at something more. Spirit Breaker with such a tremendous amount of kills because of his early game like streak. But and then just look, look at how this is stacked, you know, kills. They're not, you know, they're not catching up. I mean, they're catching up, but they're not just, they're not outdoing them. But look at this situation right now. Dyer probably will stand to take this match. Oh, we have wards and counter wards happening here. This is very good. Clink's trying to get some cash for dying. Legren ready, readying this lane to be pushed. Unseen. Here comes Void. He's gonna try to see what he can do here. Either the Warlock or Centaur. Centaur with 1632. Warlock has more HP. That's kind of strange. Oh boy! I heard Greater Bash. Ursa is ready to do this. Now, if I were if I were this team, I would have a BKB somewhere on this team, but I can't see it. Spearbreaker is going to get hit so hard that he dies. Ursa in very good shape. Tiny might get killed from the Batrider drag, but Batrider doesn't even throw down the fire to do it. He throws it out after, hoping to get some kind of damage on the dial, but does not manage to do it. In the meanwhile, Clink's hanging out by himself, trying to build himself up as a carry so he can get some items, get some money, get some advantage, and try to, try to bury it. However, they decide to push mid. They pop the Fortify. No one's going to be up in time to make any use of it. They just have to give up that tower and the Fortify. They probably should have used it for this tower here. The tower's done, Radiance of oh, Dyer's now going to get rolling here. They're going to roll right into this space. So no one is buying back, but... Hold on. He can buy back, but he won't. Batrider refuses to. Warlock's Dyer's not going to. No single member attack. of this team can actually buy back right now and re change Dyer's this fight. Clinks gets Radiance out trying to push that lane up. The tower is already gone. It disappeared when I cut away. Rosh is going to come back in two attack. minutes, and with this sort of advantage now, Dyer probably could stand to just have Urza solo Rosh get the Aegis and come in and wreck his face. That is probably a good game right now. Unfortunately, the massive damage doesn't manage to take them out. Spirit Breaker is going to come in on Ursa. That might be a kill. Here comes Nether Strike. Done. Ending Ursa's streak, providing Spirit Breaker with massive amounts of cash money. Silencer is still doing his support thing. Tiny, moving around trying to get the defense going. Alright, Radiant now going to try to push for their dear life to try to take this tower and try to force the dire side to defend. That is what they need to do right now. Fortunately, Tiny, massive amounts. He's got an Assault Curus. He's got a, he's got a Scepter. He can have any item he wants right now. If I were Tiny, I'd probably still be building strong. Regeneration! But what's he gonna buy? What's he building towards? How much does it cost? There's that force staff. That rider trying to do his best to be the, you know, the deciding factor in these fights, but, you know, he seemed to have lost steam when, uh, at some point. Let's take a look at the graphs right now. It's starting to even out. Gosh, is coming up. There's that wonderful icon. Tiny built up as all hell. He's going in on the Spirit Breaker. He's going to take most of the damage in this fight and get dragged to his death. Silence are unsure of what to do with that kind of situation. Is under attack. Meanwhile, Legrin. Meanwhile, everyone is up and they kind of just let each other die. But this tower is going and that's that. Spirit, uh, Void comes in. He's going to hit the Chrono Spirit. He's going to pick the target. He picks the stick. He picks that one, but he really wants the Spirit Breaker. He made the wrong choice early on. He shouldn't have hesitated. He popped a BKB. Wait, that's not BKB. Blah, blah, blah. Blade mail damage return. Oh, very nice. He gets pushed into... That rider manages to push the Ursa into a really good position. All he gets to dive for it. Clint is going to try to run away. A few swipes by Urza and that's going to end. Oh, he dies to the tower. Ursa commanding this charge. Really wants Clink's. Clink's pops his stuff. Ursa's like, that's fine with me. I'm still going. It's time for Rosh. 
It's rush time. Legrand talking to his team. The Radiant side unable to force these guys to defend and now losing set seriously to the tremendous strength of the carries on this team. Uh, don't you want that Aegis? Ursa, Ursa, get the Aegis, get the Aegis, there you go. Oh, you're too far to drop the goddamn belt. There you go, he dropped the belt. Immortality! Immortality. Legrin saying, we're pushing now. He doesn't care that Warlock's there. Dyer's bottom tower. Clinks, however, still really wanting to push this bottom lane to break this tower. And he's gonna do it. Unless Void can... Yeah, never mind, he got it. Clinks did his job, he's out, he's gonna go back to base. Like, I'm done. I did my job, I'm outta here. Oh, soy! Unfortunately, the middle lane is now gonna get raxed. Warlock, you should pull those into the... Yeah, pull those... Oh, the creep spawn. Terrible time. Teleports come back to base. Ah, Clinks finally gets a Daedalus. It looks like Legrand and Tiny are now going to walk through the forest and see what they can do about pushing this top lane, or are they just looking to defend it? Void and Silencer, meanwhile, on the bottom part of the map. Just getting the creeps ready to help them out and push while they're going to gear up for this middle fight here. They will probably collapse in on the mid. The only wards that are up are this one. This one, which is a very good position, this observer ward. Spirit Pareka. Uh oh! Centaur gets caught by himself, stuns a wave of creeps. I want out. Alright, here comes the dire team, ready to collapse and take care of this middle problem. However, the Radiant are gonna come up, and I think they're gonna try to gank Legrin, and I think it's gonna happen. Legra not realizing being by himself is extraordinarily dangerous. Clinks is gonna make him dead, actually. Legra's not gonna survive this. He's gonna run slam straight into Centaur World or die by himself yet again. Legra, you can't do that in this game. Meanwhile, the, the rest of the Dire team reorganizing. Killing an illusion, good job. Unfortunately, the Radiant know about this, and they're going to try to collapse in on this lane here. Unfortunately, the Creeps are still pushing this lane with no one to defend the generation up over here. Alright, here comes the Dire team trying to surround the two guys up here. The Flanks is a good choice, but Tiny not being able to see. He's going to try to take swipes at Tiny. Throw Centaur into him with the assist by Spirit Breaker, and I believe that might be a dead... That might be a dead, uh, Centaur. Silencer with a very badly timed silence. It's gonna... Silencer blew that. Silencer blew that. Me pops mechanism. Gets blocked by creeps. Spirit Breaker still in. Silenced. He cannot nether strike. Can he make it back? No. Ursa now chasing down Spirit Breaker. The threat of Ursa really did help him. Silencer misses yet another silence. Oh, there's... He popped it. He popped it. Silencer stayed on this fight and died as soon as he could a push Q. Silencer not being fully aware of the situation. Ursa now in on Warlock. Ooh. Oh, can he do something to Spirit Breaker in time? He's being dragged by Bat Rider. That is dead. Bat Rider kind of laid on the fire. Trying to get some money in, but here comes the Aegis. Warlock is not out. They try to get out. That's okay. I'm still good. Legrin, walking in the fire, stop it. Warlock gets caught looking at something and, and dies. That was strange. That rider, I want out. Get me out of here, please. Ursa's like, no, 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 no. Legrin misses with his stun. Centaur comes in, stuns everybody. Oh no, Ursa's done. But he gets some serious damage in. Legrin chooses to invis and get out. He doesn't have any assist in this situation. He's not going to take anybody. Tiny again, helping to push this lane up. Faceless Void. Wards are up. What's the situation look like? 
Not very much difference in gold being earned right now, but that XP is definitely going towards the way of the Dyer. And even though the Dyer have one tower down, the racks are half down here. They're down to this tower here. And this tower is probably going to be next at some point. But we have a team fight going on here. Oh my, Clint goes right in on Silencer and kills him right out and gets caught by himself. The rest of this fight, meanwhile, is going on. They're going unsure of what happened. Ice gets dropped. Both teams right now unsure of what really they want to do to attack. I mean, uh... The Radiant right now are very concerned about their own base, and you can tell that this is true, but they're also unsure if they can actually force the Dyer to defend at this point because their carries are actually so ready to go. Legrin, with his amount of utility and spells, ready to go. Look at this junk. I mean, he's got the drum, he's got a Lincoln Sphere, although this is not really going to help him that much in this fight. But he's got all sorts of nice, wonderful stuff from the special shop. Here we have... The utility of the Warlock with the Ring of Basilius, which is toggled on right now. I would just always have it off and forget about it. <laughs> In the meantime, so some of me, you know, killing some stuff on the way. Spearbreaker by himself, thinking he's safe, but he's gonna get pulled on three sides. Tiny throws the Voidwalker at him. Gone, and Spearbreaker goes down first. <laughs> Alright, looks like the next target is the top lane. They're going to push this lane. The Radiant, meanwhile, responded to this by saying we're going to attempt the middle. The Silencer by himself, not playing a safe position, goes in by himself. Invisibility. It is 54-52. Everyone is dying in this game. And yet we don't have a conclusive end to this for another 10 minutes, I think. The forest is now warded. The Silencer is being chased Radiant down by Centaur, who blinks. Silencer immediately blows his mechanism, he's going to try to get to the fountain, Ursa coming in, he's going to get dragged back through the fire, can Ursa actually help him? Legrin comes in, tries to get the save on Batrider, Ursa comes in, tries to, tries to hit a stun, this is completely, Batrider's going to be out, but unfortunately Flix is going to be out. Abandoned ship. Oh no, Ursa caught between a rock and a hard place, decides that Flint's made a mistake in reinitiating on him and kills him right out. In the meantime, Tiny and Faceless Void stalking the middle of the lane. Center War is gonna pop back out. Where'd he end up? Funky King Bar! Oh my god, Tiny is ready to go. Tiny is ready to do this. Ursa, in the meantime, is gonna check on Rosh. Well, I might as well grab that belt of strength. No, he doesn't grab his own belt. Warlock finally gets an Ognum Scepter that took a very long time to build 49 minutes in. Ursa taking more time to get some little more money, a little more farm. He's got a BKB. That's gonna help a lot. Let's take a look at the items. Let's see, who's got the BKB up? He's got uh, one guy, Blade Mail. Blade Mail, Blade Mail. BKB. Faceless Void with a good shield. I mean, that's that's generally what he should be doing. Mask of Madness, Daedalus, blah, blah, blah. Beats him, beats him ass. Not sure whether or not Faceless Void is going to want to keep the Ring of Basilius, but it is a tremendously good item. For the amount of cost it has. Alright, the Dyer now deciding this tower needs to go. Batrider... <laughs> Radiant now getting in position. Unfortunately, Faceless Void has held his junk up. Pop that Chronosphere. Now. No, not quite yet. He's saving it for a team fight. I think that rider is firmly under control right now. Voidwalker, Voidwalker controlled being dragged. I think someone's going to have to blow their stuff. Tiny. There comes the step. Ursa pops his BKB. Oh my god, everyone is too late on this fight. They are diving. They are diving. Boom. They're staying in on this fight. Unfortunately, Ursa does not get the benefit of having uh, having him stunned, so... Tiny, Radiant though, with so much HP, it's ridiculous. Just sit there and take the tower. Boom, oh, done. The tower's done. Radiant's the rocks, they're gonna get back. The Spirit Breaker comes in, stuns everybody. Trying to come in on Lagrin. Is anyone gonna save Lagrin? The stuns come in. Lagrin survives. 
Planks now desperate to save their racks, but they're just not gonna do it. This is the big push we've been waiting for. Unfortunately, S Centaur still trying to just take down the top racks to do something, but he should be defending in this team fight. Lager now just clearing out creeps. And unfortunately, this tower is taking so much damage, it is ridiculous. The tower's down, the ancient is gonna be done. That is GG. And I'm finally done with commentating this match. Good game, well played. That was a good game. It was a long drag out game, but they did it. Ooh. So that's what you can do when your team organizes. That was a very good comeback. Ooh, people are gonna get items, who cares? Faceless Void with so much money. Hey, Legren, you got a mythical. <laughs>